Well, boys, this is it. It is currently Sunday evening. Mr. Vargas just got into town. Seven. It is 7 p.m., almost 8 p.m. Yeah, Sunday night. We have to have this thing done and ready for Bristol by Thursday night because we leave on Friday. So we have tonight and four days to yeah. get this thing fully buttoned up. And there is a lot of work that needs to get done yeah. on the sidekick here. But we're going to thrash on this thing and try to get it done. Let's just go ahead and show you guys what we got. Mike came down with a whole bunch of stuff. Some of this we ordered and had waiting. But um, we still have to get some stuff done with the rear end, as you guys saw from the last video. But we got some coolers right here. One of these will be the trans cooler. One will be an oil cooler for the engine underneath there. We have the flex plate that will go along with the torque converter. Mike brought us back a while ago, and that guy goes into this unit right here. So this is a fully built Ford C4 transmission. We currently have a mock-up one in the car. Um, while Mike went back, he got a, another core, had it built, put together, and this one is all ready to go with a custom adapter on it as well. To make this process easier, he just had a complete unit ready to go for us. So this guy will just slap into the car. We'll swap it out with the core. That will be done. What else we got over here, Mike? We got some fuel component stuff. So these look like some fuel rails yeah, so from uh, Dishworks. Yeah, the Dishworks fuel rails. We got the ID injectors. So the lines where we have them made. So this is gonna bolt up to the intake. Primary rails right here, secondary rails. So these have a primary and secondary yeah. set so of injectors. Your low RPM stuff. And this is your high boost rail. Okay. So whenever these cap out, it turn these on. So they don't run all at the same time. And it's a total of four injectors? Four injectors, yeah. Okay, so we got two that are 1,000 cc and then two that are 2,200 yep. for when the boost kicks in. We have a whole bunch of other small engine accessories, water pump housing, alternator, the coils. Best. And the best part. And Mike brought us a precision turb ski. We did order a turbo for the sidekick, but the tracking number is not showing us anything. And I think it might be lost in shipping which is worrying us. So I told Mike if he had any extra turbos, we would appreciate him bringing one with because we don't know if the turbo is going to be here in time. And he had an extra precision. So it might come down to us actually slapping that on the car until our turbo arrives. It's also a T4 flange. So we should be able to swap it out once our shows up. It should look pretty good on there. Yeah, it should look pretty good. It's already actually, yeah, it's powder coated red on the compressor housing. So that might look really nice in there. Yeah, show us this guy right here. So, so we, we were like a little worried about like, space over there so we got the gritty elbow and it actually like turns in super tight so it's gonna like give us all the room that and that's off of uh factory fd yeah right the throttle right body one. so that's gonna fit in there real nice and go right here but yeah guys that's pretty much everything we're gonna need to get this thing knocked out so like i said four days including tonight to get this sidekick done and it's gonna be a lot of work but we got the dorito boy himself here to help us with it hopefully we get her ready for bristol we can do a fat burnout for you guys. Let's get to it. So we got the rear diff going back together here for the sidekick. As you can see, we have our spool installed. That guy just came in. And Wyatt has been tearing this thing apart. Getting that guy in there. Yep, it was so, a hassle. It was kind of broken before, and like two of the spider gears were welded to the pin that's supposed to come out to take the carrier apart. So that was kind of fun using the press and the oxyacetylene torch to get that all to loosen up but yeah a couple of these spider smooth. gears were a little seized in place but he got that all knocked out and then got the spool installed there ready to go back together and yep. get both of those rear tires spinning to torque spec nothing like some ugga duggas yep seven seconds on the number Dang, two ugga dude, you ain't even a bad boy you don't even use chrome sockets today i figured i'd be a professional use the right ones tight is tight Tight's tight. Just Good to go. Together. All right, now we're making ourselves a custom intake manifold gasket. Mike's showing me the, the, old, the, port, old Puerto, Rican <laughs> the Puerto Rican way right here. Yeah. Ball and hammer. Just go around the edges. Literally cutting it all the way around. Yeah, because you're using the intake as, a, as like a scissor. You know? Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, we got our intake manifold gasket made here and we are mocking up the rails and fuel lines. So this is the primary secondary rail right here. This is the secondary rail. Right so this is the big power rail? Yep. Okay, so this is the, the power rail and then the other one he has mocked up on the engine right there. Also mocked up the uh, trigger sensor right there. Got our wheel and pulley on and the pressure regulator will be mounting right to here. the upper spot 
right there on the upper half of the intake manifold. And that should look nice. Fuel system will be done pretty much. Yeah, nice and simple. We're waiting to put the intake on though, because we're going to be mounting the coils off of the firewall back here. So that's gonna be easier to get to without the intake manifold. In the way right now, Wyatt's working on some stuff on the factory uh, water pump housing. There's some ports here that we need to uh, plug up. So he's been working on that. Yeah. But then we'll move on to getting the coils mounted up. We can get the intake manifold on from there and we got the harness kind of laid out here. We're going to have to adapt um, our universal fuel tech harness here to the uh, Hall Effect sensor on the pickup. And uh, just keep going from there, boys. Get her all plugged up. Yes, sir. Get these things patched up and then uh, water pump go on. Thermostat housing, start doing cooling lines. Getting it all knocked out. No, I ain't on the clock right now. I can go take a nap. You want to do this. Me neither. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I was a uh, UPS driver today. <laughs> Go hit the gas pedal. Should work. Oh yeah. Rap, 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 rap. That's gonna work. Try to uh, wide open it. Or not wide open. You're wide open. Coming along, boys. Look, this was meant to be right here. Look at the line coming out of the booster to this little extension deal, and then that will go whoop right into our intake. So that looks like it was meant to be. Hit the starter full, fired up. Yeah, start this thing up, dude. <laughs> Hit it, dude. What? Hit the starter full. Oh, we got the starter. There's no flex plate on there, though. The one ugly piece. It's not going to be ugly tomorrow. We're just the stores are closed. Yeah, we'll get her painted up to match everything else. Getting the water pump housing on there right now. The alternator bolts onto that guy. I powder coated this myself. Mike Vargas special. Let me put a smudge on it. Look at I need to work on your powder coating, dude. It's already <laughs> rubbing off on our housing, man. Nah, that's why he don't, don't know how to work on, on delicate cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Dude, you couldn't even get us an alternator with dude. the output on the right side? It's the, that's the FD alternator, it only comes that way. Ridiculous. I better not see no booger welds on this shit tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, where's the turb ski at? Get the turbo. See, that's my thought like that. Yeah, like, like as far as this side as possible. Yeah, but remember uh, the radiator. Oh, actually it goes here. Yeah, the radiator goes right in between okay. this okay. bar so right here. If we could go like that, that would be better. We could do it just like that. Just like that. All right, guys, it is currently the next day working on the sidekick here. We went ahead and got everything torn out. The engine is back out of the car because we are going to go ahead and made up a new transmission to the engine here. But before we can do that, we have to get the flex plate on, which we just did that. Right now, Mike's working on getting the oil pan on. Just got a whole bunch of gasket maker on that guy. And we got the oil pickup on ready to go. So we'll go ahead and slap the pan on and uh, start getting this all back together here so it can go back into the car. You didn't hear record? No. <laughs> Yo, I could have oh. saw you said something. It wasn't CGI. It actually was cut off. I saw it happen. Well, Mike didn't know how to hit the record the button, but we just bad. had to cut this ear off the transmission here to make room for the starter on the uh, C4 trans with this custom bell housing deal we got going on here. <laughs> but that's done now. Let's that's see if it, the start. Let's see. Yeah, I know we got to cut a little bit of this off, but yeah, I just got to cut yeah, a little bit. Yeah, just that guy right here. Yep. We good. So not a lot. I think like probably where the threads start right there and that'll be it just enough to where you can't adjust it yep just enough to i totally adjusted no 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 i already adjusted it yeah but it's a, about you that, that you know things. we just cut so a slit on it how that one off too yep. That, yep. all right the transmission is made it up to the rotary we're just getting the torque converter all bolted up right now to the flex plate and then we will be good to stick this thing back into the sidekick almost there i think we're going to be making some dorito sounds today oh yeah it's going to turn on today all right, you heard yeah, it here. As long from as that fuel himself. pump works. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't question our fuel pump. The, the questionable fuel pump. All right, guys, we're back over here at Universal Drive Shafts. They just got our drive shaft done for the sidekick right here. Had to bring them the old one just so they could double check what 
this flange was that goes to the uh, rear end. But we have the same flange going to that rear end as the factory one. And then up here we have the end that goes to the uh, C4 Ford transmission. Got her measured out for what we need. There she is, boys. Got our new drive shaft. Thanks for taking care of us, like always. Yep. Go get this thing put in. All right, boys. Got our drive shaft from Universal Drive Shaft here. We uh, got the spool and everything back together on the rear end of the sidekick, so both rear tires are now locked together. So we're gonna go ahead and see if this drive shaft lines up here. Just got the engine and trans back in. Everything's in place. <laughs> we don't need any. Thanks, Mike. We don't need any demonetizing noises for this next move. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call out the power thrust. All right. Seal. <laughs> <laughs> well, that fits. Ooh, we're almost there. We just got to make that Dorito, freaking that little Dorito box turn on, and we got ourselves a nice little ride coming up. Quit playing with our tires, Cooper. I'm taking some air out so you guys get some grip. Nah, dude, we need them at 100 psi. So when they blow up, they destroy the quarter. Cooper's always around when Dorito things are happening. <laughs> I do like rotaries. Every time the Vargas brothers around, he's here, but never comes over when they're not. Nope. I was here the other day, and neither were here. Shows. We knew so many little friends. Cooper never hangs out with us, but when the Vargas brothers come, all of a sudden he wants to hang out. Yep. Best friends then. It was crazy though because Mike was like, "Hey, you coming to visit?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna come hang out tonight." He's like, "We actually need you to pick something up." About that. <laughs> well, we're glad you picked up that yeah, shaft. Yeah, he was for like, us. Yes. Yeah, I need, we needed that. <laughs> Transmission parts and my laptop. I'm like, ah, I see how it is. So you want to hang out with them. And they only use you. We actually want to hang out, but you don't even and hang you're out. You're using us. him. Right. And we're using him. See, it's a whole cycle, and no one's actually really friends here. Yep, exactly. <laughs> how about you listen to the fuel pump first? <laughs> okay, well, let's not talk about the fuel pump, dude. <laughs> All right, give her a little bump. Oh! Okay, okay, there's no oil. Hey, it turns over. Sounds like you got no compression, bro. Oh, yeah. I hear the compression. There's no plugs in it. Sparky plug. Exactly. Which we gotta go before they close. All right. Well, let's get it back to where it was. And then uh, go get some spark plugs. And gas. Do we have fuel? No. No, we need gas, too. <laughs> and oil. <laughs> and trans fluid. Let me put it on the list. <laughs> All right, guys, we've made a whole bunch of progress right now. We are getting oil into our rotary engine. Why it's working on pinning for the new injectors. That's the last thing we need to get done on the harness there. As you can see, we got coils all mounted up on the firewall there. Got our spark plug wires made going to our plugs. We had to run and go uh, get some spark plugs. Got those into the engine. Once why it's done over there, we'll get all of the uh, fuel stuff plugged in. Nothing to see here. What you doing over there? Cutting these connectors right off. So uh, yeah, he's making that work for tonight. Then we'll get the intake manifold back on. We've got the alternator on there. We've got the water pump housing on. We can add coolant. We don't have any of the coolant lines yet, actually, though. So got to get that figured out before we can actually put water in it. Um, we had to make a quick little uh, temporary alternator bracket. And by temporary, I mean it'll probably last for a while because <laughs> it works. Uh, we didn't get a wide enough belt. That's all the auto parts store had. We need a five rib belt, but they only had, was that a three? Three, yeah. So we'll have to change that later on, but we got something on there for right now. Um, we just made this oil line to loop from the oil filter there to the front of the engine. This is going to go to an oil cooler once we get that installed, just to help keep the oil temps down when we go do burnouts and stuff. But just for a test fire, we got that loop together. We still have to go back up with the sidekick and loop a couple fittings together on the transmission that will also be uh, for an inline transmission cooler once we add that as well. But we're just going to see if we can possibly get this thing to fire up tonight because we are getting pretty close here. I think it's going to come down to the fuel system stuff and then some tuning on yeah, the fuel tech. Settings. But Usually everything these are pretty good to set up base okay. maps on. So already got base map set up. So okay. base maps already in there. Got to plug in a couple more numbers and Hopefully she'll fire right up. We also got the uh, dipstick kind of just mounted up for now for the trans boost controllers right behind that guy. Still have to finish up the turbo manifold, but that's obviously not going to happen until tomorrow. At this point, oil pressure sensors in there. But yeah, boys, getting close here. So hopefully soon we will make some brap rap noises. Yeah, hopefully soon. It's late. 
It's like almost midnight. <laughs> yeah, Wyatt took a three-hour nap not too long ago. It was supposed to be a five-minute break. Yep. Got a lot done considering we just had yesterday and, and today. Half. Yeah, day and a half, and it's right. this far. Almost ready to fire up. I think we're going to do it, boys. But knock on wood. Last court of ATF going in. Come to think of it, this is the first car we've done pretty much on the channel that has an automatic transmission, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And the first uh, one-day build? I mean, it's only been a day and a half. <laughs> yeah. If we had all this stuff when you first came, yeah. we would have got this thing knocked out so quick. We are getting really close here, guys. Just have a couple fuel lines to button up and get them connected to the tank. A couple vacuum ports to just uh, plug up. Um, Wyatt's been over here working on the fuel tech, calibrating a couple things. Yep, she's good to go. And we got sensors reading. You want to show them the uh, TPS working yep. on the pedal gaps. there. Yep, TPS is reading. And Engine uh, coolant temp's working. And we're going to see if the oil pressure gauge works. Yeah, we're going to crank her over and prime it, see if it's building the oil pressure. And then once we know that's good, all the injectors are clicking, coils are all plugged in, wired up. We just got to... Uh, Literally just screw the feed line in for the fuel. Still have to finish the return line, which I'm crawling under there working on right now. And then make sure it primes. The fuel pump in here does sound a little rough, not gonna lie. It's the old fuel pump that came out of the MR2 before we went to the mechanical. So it's been sitting. She needs some gas ran through it. And we gotta sync the trigger wheel. Sync the trigger wheel for the timing. And then, I should have it close, but it's... Yeah, it should be somewhat good. And then we see if it makes some brap rap noises. Yeah. We're getting there, boys. I guess go ahead and crank it. Send it. We got um, fluid. We yeah, let me unhook the uh, injectors and coils so it doesn't actually try to fire them. Can watch this thing just yeah. fire right <laughs> out. Yeah, you're good. Right. Build some oil pressure. Starting to get a little bit. It's coming up on the gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, you got a yeah. Nice. Damn, I did a good job. Building oil pressure. <laughs> Pretty low, buddy. It's only halfway oh, up the shit, scale. Fucking two, like, <laughs> How much did it make? Probably like 30. Yeah. That's not bad for cranking. For cranking that, that was 200 bad. RPM. Yeah. Yeah, about 22. 25. Dude. This thing's going to run in like 20 minutes, guys. It's so close. So for what we're gonna do is two ounces per gallon on this one. A little bit, and that's pretty much what you gotta do. Just start mixing it now. So for the side gig here, we gotta mix some premix yeah. in there, add a little oil to our gas. So you gotta keep this stuff in the car at all times. Cause if you get stuck at a gas station and you don't have this. It will, is it guaranteed that it will blow up? It will scratch it, yeah. It'll start scratching it'll, you, it'll start the insides. It. So the housing is gonna scratch, the seals get scratched and you start losing compression little by little. So we basically have a two stroke now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little bit of fight. It is just past one in the morning. We are filling up. We are finalizing fuel lines right now. We had to crawl up under there, um, loop the uh, trans lines. Um, the tunnel is very dirty. <laughs> Both yep. me and Wyatt's arms are blacked it's out. Cool. Had to get the fittings tight on top of the fuel cell, drop it back down. And uh, get that done. Mike's topping her off. We're gonna quickly prime it and just uh, run some fuel through it to make sure there's no excess rubber in the lines. Clean them out yep. and hook them up. Go back together, and I think that's it. See, See if this are. thing will fire up. Yep. I probably said that at the end of each clip I film. See if it <laughs> fires up. Rap rap noise is coming soon. <laughs> but we're getting so close. I keep saying that. Next part. Take a shot every time I say we're getting so close. <laughs> Send it. Nothing yet. We're looking pretty good over here. What do you want base pressure at? 40, uh, 45. Okay, we're right about there. I'd crank that down. I think Hell it's like yeah, dude. 48. No leaks. <laughs> yeah, solid. The freaking eight second pump yep. from the MR2. The hand-me-downs coming in clutch. Pretty solid. Dude, check this out, guys. I can't believe how much work we've gotten done in the last day and a half. I think we're about ready to crank it up, bud. Get ready to take a shot, everybody. We're almost there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are almost there.
Did you get a piece of metal in there? Yeah, I got a freaking. Uh, Maybe that's that's the chance you wire wheel, bud. That's the chance you take wearing those bad <laughs> units in here. These things are some certified work boots, bud. <laughs> All right, boys. Moment of truth. We are ready to crank this thing on and see if she fires up for the first time. It's about two in the morning. We've been thrashing on the sidekick here, but I think we're ready. We're ready when you are, Wyatt. All right, I suppose. Give her hell. Oh, oh, she's kicking, she's kicking, it's coming. Come on, baby. Freaking day, she's alive, boys. Dude, it sounds so sick. Dude. Dude. It's not that loud. Oh, yeah? I didn't think it was that no, bad. No, it's not that bad. Uh, Mike was uh, saying it was going to blow our ears out, honestly. Well, some of the... Really you bad. haven't... You must have not heard Fong's car. It was shooting flames already. Like... Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, it cleared up pretty good once yeah. you got it going, yeah. And they don't spin at all right now. Is the e-brake on? Yeah. Wait, wait. I oh, have it on part. part. All right. Will I let go? Now Yep. They spin with some resistance. Okay, I'm gonna leave them just a little, little on. Well, I just put it in neutral up there. Okay, it's in neutral. Yeah, it's in neutral right, right now. now. Reverse, neutral, yeah. She freaking works, dude. Tires are spinning. Rotary's brapping. Day and a half. I told you guys we were close. Yeah. That ain't too bad. It revs up pretty good, honestly, for like how a not yeah. close oh, the tune dude. is. This thing's so sick. Dude, I love Susie. Turbo. We need the turbo. Man. We need the turbo. Yeah. Now we need the turb ski and uh, get all that stuff done. But I think for right now, we're calling it a night, guys. Yeah, it is uh, two in the morning. So. Yeah. Two in the morning. We're going to hit it hard again tomorrow and see what we can get done on the turbo kit. We did order a turbo for this thing, but it got lost in shipping. Tracking number isn't showing anything. I called and then we ended up getting one overnighted. So it should be here tomorrow. We did have Mike's precision, but we're gonna do our best to not use his nice turbo if we can. Um, so he can take that back with him because that wasn't part of the plan. Get her making like what, 10 to 14 pounds, somewhere in there. Yeah. Ideally you said like 14 pounds when it's all said and done for the yeah, burnout. Yeah, like 14 pounds. To break it in and if uh, 14 pounds will get us in the 500 range in the 500 range? okay we don't even need 14 pounds though. yeah <laughs> i mean if she's making like a solid 350 to 400 to the tire yeah. that is plenty this to get a, some this is like a tire motor spin. for like rotaries this is an rew so this is like like this is the good so the good if motor. we wanted to slap a massive turbo on here and we had unlimited fuel how far could we take this thing 700 i think seven uh, what would limit us what would we have to do to it to go to, for like a thousand? The tranny. No, like the engine though. Oh, engine wise, yeah, you can you can do whatever. This engine yeah. bulletproof. Okay. Yeah, it's balanced, everything It's ready. So you're saying it. if we wanted to, this thing could do wheelies. Oh yeah. This thing's <laughs> gonna do wheelies at 500. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Well, 
That's gonna wrap it up for tonight, guys. I want to take it outside and do a burnout already. I know. <laughs> it's two in the morning. We're gonna wake the neighbors up. Good on the data log there. 125 psi oil pressure. Uh, God damn, where'd you get that motor? <laughs> it's that 20 weight 50. Yeah. That's gonna be a wrap for this video on the rotary sop sidekick. We got her fired up. So excited. Be sure to come out to Bristol if you guys want to see this thing in person. We're looking good. I think we're gonna be on track to get this thing out there and do a fat burnout for you guys. Really excited to hang out with all of you that come out. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully get a turbo on there and get this thing making some boost.